What's up guys, it's Emily. So today's video is going to be a story time with an incident with a Karen. And I'm going to be also doing a mukbang, a breakfast mukbang. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this video a fat thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to always be notified with my videos. Comment what you guys think of this story time mukbang and let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more mukbangs and story times. And I hope you guys enjoy and let's get this started, guys. So before I jump in to my story time with a Karen, I'm going to show you guys my breakfast. I got some scrambled eggs, some toast. See, okay, I had no bacon or sausage and I was like sad because I have like no protein on this plate. It's like so then I got home fries, and then I also usually eat Greek yogurt, and it has 15 grams of protein, so I'm getting somewhat um, protein. And this is like my favorite. It's triple zero Greek yogurt, strawberry flavor. So this is my breakfast. Very nice, very nice. And then I got some ketchup to put on my home fries, and some scrambled eggs, and I got some water. So that is my breakfast, guys. Okay, guys, so it is currently, hold on, 8.51 in the morning. Um, this is my breakfast. My yogurt. I like to always eat Greek yogurt. It's so good. Lately, I've been really liking eggs without ketchup for some reason. I don't know why. That was an ASMR right there. So, story time for you guys. Oh, before I get started. Right now, I'm pushing through to film for you guys. But, I'm going through a lot privately. That you guys will eventually know but right now I don't want to speak up about anything but um yeah I'm pushing to film for you guys even though I have a lot going on right now for myself um I've been feeling like mentally physically emotionally not unstable but like not there um but I was like I woke up this morning feeling really motivated to film cook myself breakfast and film for you guys so yeah you guys will eventually find out but back to my story time so last sunday i had an incident with a karen now i didn't get into a fight but this woman approached me okay and Honestly, yo, this came out mad good. I don't even think I need the ketchup. There's so much flavor. So, last Sunday, I had an incident with a cat room. Now, I was minding my business as usual, as I should, because these Karens on this street. be thinking they run where they at, right? So, I pretty much I was at Walmart with my parents and I was so excited because I, I love Walmart. Anybody that knows me, I love Walmart. So, we went to Walmart and pretty much, I was, you know, looking at the pajamas, the clothes. Like, I was just kind of all over the store. But the timing when I was there. Now, mind you, I'm minding my business. Not really even paying attention. I'm kind of just searching for this one specific thing that I found online that I was trying to find in person. 
So, I'm minding my business or whatever. Like I said, like 5,000 times. And I didn't even know where this lady came from. I definitely knew she wasn't around me because there was nobody really where I was at. So, this lady legit walked up to me. And I was like mind blown because... I was mind blown because I just dropped a video about body shaming. Now this lady came up to me and I'm going to read you what she exactly said because I, I obviously my memory is very shot and I had to write this to myself to make sure when I do film again to let you guys know. So let me go through my phone real quick. And I was, I wasn't even upset. Like, I don't let Karens get to me. I don't let nobody get to me, okay? Mind you. And I was just like, I was in like, kind of like disbelief about it because, like, you don't expect to hear those things from an older woman, twice your age, triple your age, whatever you want to consider it. And, sorry guys. Oh my god, where is it? Okay, I'm finally there. So, she pretty much said, in her words specifically, she said, Girls, you're shot. Girl, bleh. Girls your size shouldn't be wearing things like this. Mind you, I was wearing a tank top with shorts. I don't know what she expected me to look like. I don't know if she expected me to wear an oversized sweater or something to cover up my body when it's summertime. But it was hot that day on top of that. So I was wearing shorts and a tank top. I don't think that's wrong. I don't think it's a crime. And I shouldn't have to change my outfit from somebody's comment, mind you. So she said, girls your size shouldn't be wearing things like this. You should know better to wear something like that the way you look. Now, I am a bigger girl, okay? I'm, we're all aware of this. Everybody that subscribed to me, I'm always bringing awareness to bigger girls. So, for this lady to come up to me after I just dropped a video, obviously she doesn't know I film, but I was just like, I was just talking about body shaming. Um... She went out of her way to make that comment to me. Now, mind you, me, me and my parents usually separate. I usually just do my own thing. Um, when I got out of the store, because I'm not the type to start drama. And I gladly ignored her and walked away. I could have decked her in the face, mind you. But I'm old enough to be mature about it and walk away. Because that's what they want out of you. They want a reaction. They want this. They want they want just something out of you. Just to, because they're miserable on their part. No. I'm not miserable. I was having a good day. I until that lady said something to me. But did I let it affect me? No. Absolutely not. Because, mind you, she came up to me with a low-ass tank top and her saggy-ass titties. Now, I'm not the type to body shame. I'm, I've never been. But for her to judge me from her own, how she looks, I wouldn't say, oh. I wouldn't make a comeback and say, oh, you should look at yourself. But, you know, in all reality, like... Nobody should ever come up to you out of their way at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning to make your day miserable. That's just me personally. I don't got time nor energy to make somebody's life miserable. So, I told my parent, my mom, when we got out of Walmart, I told her what happened. 
and my mom obviously was mad. She's like, why didn't you tell me when we were in the store, blah, 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 blah. Because I just don't want the drama. I don't want, I don't want people to close the scene. I, I gladly walked away. I had, I finally grabbed what I needed to find and I walked away because I'm not going to entertain people like that. Mm -mm. It's, not, it's not in my personality to do that, nor is it, I just like was, cra it was like crazy because I literally, the day before I dropped a video about body shaming and this Karen comes up to me. Now if you don't know what a Karen is, it's like soccer mom, somebody like, that just thinks they know everything and tries to make a scene out of everything. This yogurt's MAGA. That's how I look. It's really thick because it's Greek yogurt, but it has 15 grams of protein, zero added sugar, zero percent artificial sweetener, and zero percent fat. So that's good. I really barely put a dent in my food. No, actually I did put a good dent. But back to what I was saying. Lady had a nerve to come up to me. Mind you, I'm a very chill person. Very laid back. If I was in a bad mood that day, I probably would have ducked her. To be honest. She was lucky I was in a good mood. And, oh, that's another thing. A girl witnessed it. Probably, like, my age. Um. She was, like, in disbelief. Like, she, that lady was loud, mind you. She was in disbelief when she heard that lady say that to me. She was like, I can't believe what I just witnessed. She's like, you know, when I see things like this on the internet of Karen's. I really don't believe they're really like that. But after witnessing a person that happened to you, I'm so sorry. She's like, girl, you are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you any uh, anything different. And your outfit's mad cute. And she asked me where it was from also. And it was obviously from Sheen. But I was just like mind blown. You know what? I used to be like weird with scrambled eggs, like eating it just like this. Guys, I'm almost done. Um, I always had to eat it with ketchup for some reason. That's just me personally. So, that happened last Sunday. What day is it? Yeah, last Sunday. And I was like, wow. And I went home with my stuff mad happy. I don't let nobody affect me with that type of comments. I've let it happen in the past, but I'm old enough to not entertain it anymore. So, that's that. Kind of full. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time mukbang. Give this video a fat thumbs up, and I will see you guys. In my next video. Bye guys.